That's my old thing, is there is no recipe. Sometimes what I do is Sunday morning, it doesn't have to be Sunday morning, but in the morning when I'm feeling like I need a little power, and usually this happens when my wife Kira is asleep, so I have to whisper. So I make these pancakes that uh, don't have any flour. I love them, they're really super, super easy to make, and I think they're absolutely delicious, and they're really, really good for you, but even if they weren't good for you, I would still make them. So I start with some almond butter. Now, here's the thing about me as a cook. I have no idea about measurements. I just never <laughs> measure things. But I think it's maybe a couple of tablespoons of almond butter, but it's really, I'm just shooting in the dark. I like the pan hot. It, hot enough to cook a pancake, but not like so hot that it's gonna burn. Then I take a uh, banana, two probably. So I'll put this one in too. Somebody told me about this dish, and, and I, I can't remember where it, it came from, but um, I just tried it, and, and you know, it always comes out slightly different. I'm gonna put the butter in, because I like cooking the pancakes in the butter. Now, if you were, you know, vegan, you wouldn't use butter, you'd use something else. Then it take two eggs, and now, this is the hard part. Not very hard. You gotta mush it up. It's gotta become batter, but I don't like to put it in a blender, because it gets too kind of like, soupy and essentially you really just have banana an egg and almond butter the banana makes it sweet the almond butter gives you tons of protein and the egg makes it you know hold together turn this down just a little bit people are kind of like wow so that's a pancake you don't have any flour in this at all huh nope I like to put cinnamon in it too. And apparently cinnamon is really good for you. If you're just making it for yourself, it's kind of easy because you can use one egg, one banana, and maybe two tablespoons of almond butter, and, and it's, it's, it's not too hard to um, remember. So then after you've been smushing for a while, your batter ends up looking, you know, nice and kind of smooth like that. It's okay if it has little bits of, um, banana floating around in there, little morsels of banana goodness. So you just basically are setting these up just like pancakes. So we're just gonna, you know, almost like a regular pancake where you're kind of waiting for the bubbles to pop. You have a sip of coffee. And then, if you have the kids, you can do the blueberry face thing. <laughs> Take the berries and, you know, you make some eyes. And then you put the smiling blueberry pancake face. Blueberries are also very good for you. We love to cook. Cooking and eating together is something that we've always done as a family. Uh, both of my kids, we never gave them lessons. We never sat down and said, okay, this is how you cook. But just in the course of just life, they've ended up making, you know, great, great dishes and they both really enjoy it. It's such a great full circle process to figure out what you're gonna make, go to the store, to the farmer's market, get the stuff, make it, learn, fail. Last night Kira and I were making something that we had a complete fail and then we pivoted halfway through the meal and it was just a meal for us, you know? And then to just, um, you know, be able to share it together, it's just such a great, it's a great thing. And when the kids were little, we had a rule, which was that no matter what else was going on in the course of the day, everybody had to sit down and have dinner together. So there you go. I mean, you can see that these are just look like pancakes, but no flour and a lot of protein, and they're delicious. Mm. Mm. These are actually excellent.